part two on how to weather plastic to look as if it's painted and weathered without actually having to paint it. Bit of a cheat, but it comes out fine in the end. So now I've done all the silver on the guns, the well battered ones, because these ones get used to whack people over the head quite a bit, and on him. So now I want to add some dirt. So I'm going to go for a brown tone now. And I'm going to use a streaking grime, and I'm going to use, um, I've got a couple of streaking grimes. And the one that I want is, here we go, just normal streaking grime by AK Interactive. And I do love this colour. Um, it's just a brown. It's very nice, very easy. It's just a thick enamel paint, really. And very useful to go on and to use it to add texture and streaking. We want it to gather in the gaps. So we want to put it on and with a thinnish brush, let it sink into the gaps and then just wipe it away so it only sits into the, um, the edges. So we're going to wipe it away with a thick brush and washer like we did last time with the green. Now I've put a lot more on the feet than I would put on the um, rest of him because let's face it, his feet are the bit that are slogging through the dirt. So I'm just gonna leave that on quite thickly to, to give that effect. Now it's worth saying that this is mud, not rust. I've not rusted him at all because he's too busy running through things to get rusty and he's made from the future. So he doesn't seem to have any rust on him. If you were doing something that you wanted to base on rust, you could put a lot more rust streaking onto this than I've been doing. So moving on up his body and I'll do a little bit less of the streaking grime on that because I don't want it to be as obvious, but there'll be more on the legs getting lighter as it goes up. So at this point, I'm gonna leave it to set for a while. Um, I haven't done the same on here because the guns he keeps clean. You know, he's not gonna get them covered in mud. He, they're working weapons. But I have just left this as it is. It's got a fine pattern of dirt on it now. And then the next stage will be to add on something a little bit darker and more pronounced and mud-like in texture. Now for a fun little bit of mess. So I'm gonna take more of that dark streaking, the normal streaking grime from AK Interactive and I'm gonna try and spatter some mud. Now this is fun and messy and um, doesn't always work as well as you want. The good news is if you do it in enamel, then you can always wipe it off with a bit of white spirit or thinners or whatever. So what you need to do is get a brush. I mean, you can use quite a big brush, but I want smallish ones. And you literally just flick oops, like this. And it puts on little spatters, which now, if you think about where you want your little spatters, um, then do think very much they're going to be around the base. They're not going to be too far up the body. You may have a little bit, and you're going to get more on the back of the legs, I would have thought, from where I splash and I get muck when I'm walking, than you would on the front. Now, I'm using a small brush to get small splatters, you can use a bigger brush. And you can see I'm getting loads of splatters over here and not so many on my model. But that's fine. I want this to be a subtle thing. And if you get anything but very big ones, it just looks a bit much. So let's put him on his side. Poor man. The indignity of it, eh? Okay, I'm going to take some of that off when um, before it sets too much up. Oh, yeah, I really want to put that in water, don't I? Um, yeah, and I probably whatevered myself a bit as well, but no matter. So, just a little bit of wash, and some of these are just a tad too big. But I don't want too much on them, it'll blob them all, but that one there is just too much. But you can just... Muck it up a bit. Mm, there's a really big one there, I'm not happy with. Okay, I'm gonna let 
the rest of them dry a bit and see how they come out. So what am I going to do next? Well, I need to do something with these areas, the um, sort of grey plastic as opposed to the greeny plastic. And for that, I'm going to use, um, it's over here somewhere, MIG pigment, not that one, dark steel. It's one of my favourite, um, this is AK Interactive actually, pigments and it's lovely, lovely stuff. And I just use a cotton bud and put a little bit on and I don't want a lot. And what I'm looking for is if you rub it, you get a lovely silvery glow. Um, probably shouldn't wax a lyrical about a pigment, but it's great stuff. So I'm just going to go over and you can do it with a brush. I'm just going to cover any bits that you can see just to almost like dry brush them with this. Uh, I don't want it to be absolutely gleaming. Um, but if you look in the photos, the light always catches these areas. So I'm just going to make sure that we get a little bit of that same highlight coming through. And you can use it around the edges as well. It gives a very nice worn effect. You can just catch the edges. I'm gonna, oh, now I'm gonna do my guns. Now, the first time I ever did my guns with um, this on the smaller one, they looked a bit new. Um, so I'm gonna just try not to make them look like they've literally just come out of the factory because we've just put a huge amount of effort into making them look quite weathered. But use this just as a highlight almost on the top edges just to add something to them. What I'd like to do now is just do a little bit more weathering on the feet and then we're done. Now, that needs pigments because we would like to have just that little bit more mud effect. And what I'm gonna do is two things. First of all, I'm gonna do more of the splashing, but I'm gonna do it with a, a liquid pigment. Now, if you don't own any liquid pigments, and these are life color liquid pigments that I'm gonna use, then I recommend that you just make a slurry out of a normal pigment, such as this Dark Earth by AK Interactive, and IPA, isopropyl alcohol, and it sprays on. And the difference between that and the, the one that we've got from the um, enamel is the color looks chalky when it dries. So it looks like a dry sprayed earth. It's a very different technique. And, and I just like the extra layer that it gives. So I'm gonna use frame dirt, which is quite a dark one from this one. I've got a rust set as well, but I find it's a bit too rusty colored really. I'm not trying to make my wood look that dark. So I'm going to use, I'm probably going to use, it's a bit pale. I'm going to use frame dirt and carriage grime, which are the two darker ones. And what I like about these liquid pigments is if you don't like them, they will just come off with water or they give you a solvent that you can use as well. And that is really helpful, I think. So I'm just going to get my manky small brush because I don't want this to be a huge thing. And I'm just going to flick. Onto me by the look of it. Let's put him a bit further away. Right, I'm going to leave this um, to dry, but what I want to do. Yeah, pick him up with something that's not going to get done. He's just do something on the soles of his feet as well. So I'm going to do a very, oh bless. Can I put that on these two? Probably do a bit better. There we go. So I'm just going to um, put some of this, give it another shake because it needs a constant shaking. Put some of that on the underneath in the gaps. going to make sure this is thoroughly dry, um, partly because the colour changes dramatically as it dries. Um, this colour at the moment you're getting is a very orangey colour and when it dries it actually goes to a brown, which is much better than the orange you can see at the moment. So I'm just going to wait a bit and you can see on here it's drying to a very different colour. So wait and see what happens. So he's dried off, which we're on to the home stretch. He's looking nice and sort of spattery muddy around there. I actually quite like them all. There's one or two that are a little bit big. So I'm just gonna get my fine brush and a little bit of water 
and just spread them out a little bit. Okay, so whilst that's drying, we need to think about what we're gonna do next. And that's put on some pigments. So these are AK Interactive, um, just normal pigments. There are loads of different pigments you can have. This is just dark earth. And what I want to do is to put it round, especially around the feet where um, they would accumulate. And to fix it, we're gonna use Pigment Fixer. I've got a MIG Pigment Fixer, but all of the AK Interactive and Ammo by MIG, they all do one. Now, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the difference between this and White Spirit is, and actually most solvents will set it fairly well. So what you need to do is get a dry brush and just put it in to where you want it to go. So I'm gonna do his feet first. Smooth it off with my finger so it's not on any of the treads because they would all be smooth straight away. And I'm gonna find something to lean this guy against so he's more or less vertical. And I'm gonna just drip on a little bit of the pigment fixer. And if you put it on and it should just run in and fix it. I'm going to do these feet and then I'm going to leave it for a bit because I just want them to give them a second to set. So now what I'm going to do is get that, can I put it down somewhere? Dark earth. And put it round the bottom of his shoe on the side as well. A little bit. So here we are, finally done. I'm really pleased with how he's turned out. He's got lovely muddy feet and he gets less muddy as he goes up and he can get some really, really good photos. So I'm really enjoying taking some photos of him and putting him into halo back scenes. Come with me on another adventure. You're gonna love it. And I know I loved the last one, two, three, but this jungle's huge. And I've been walking around in circles for ages. And he just goes up in the trees, run across that branch. And he makes it look so easy, but little legs taking me a long time. I understand Big Kathy's going to do a little jungle scene for him and a little trunk thing. So, hmm, well, let's see how long it takes to get round to that one because he's got a queue of stuff to do and it's not top of the list, but we'll see. Anyway, see you next time. Uh, I think I might be back to Earth then. You know, she'll be back at work and Christmas will be over and yeah. No more running around the jungle for me. I'll be at home with the others. Yeah. Still, been fun while it lasted. Now, where did I put the exit button switch thingy so I can get back? Hmm.